sometimes when I get connected with someone and find them to be very advanced spiritually in physical skills in intelligence in overall excellence then I get very moved by them attracted to what they represent and I get a sense that I want that too but then when I try to focus on their teachings I run into a pattern she means she is blocked by a pattern the pattern is that I start to see imaginary dialogues and meetings with them where either I am presenting very advanced observations to them and they are impressed by me or I am sitting at their feet in complete surrender and usually crying. The image of being advanced gives me a sense of importance and the image of being in surrender gives me a sense of catharsis. However, both only last for a very brief moment. I think it is the underlying need for acceptance as someone worthwhile and love and appreciation is what I am subconsciously seeking. But these imaginary trips are distractions and they suck away my time and focus from what is actually being said. In the end, I gain very little from sessions and readings as I go completely off course. How to get rid of this pattern and truly listen? Thank you. No, don't, uh, Shilpi, fight the pattern. The pattern is auspicious even though it is just a pattern. If the pattern is telling you something about your subconscious, then listen to what it is telling. Bring the pattern to a closure. Take the pattern to its fullness. Don't fight it. Don't destroy it. Don't kill it. Rather, take it to its fullness. Yes, you are seeking closeness to excellence. Yes, you are seeking closeness to intelligence. You are seeking closeness to fulfillment. And you have rightly observed that that closeness, when you achieve it in your imaginations, is very temporary. Then proceed. Don't stop at the level of imaginations. What does it mean to proceed? You are meeting that advanced, excellent person in your dreams, in your imaginations. What does it mean to proceed? Does it mean that you should meet them in flesh and blood? Well, you may try that. You may try that and you will find that the experience of fulfillment and fullness associated with them is, is still quite fleeting, is still quite temporary. So that will probably be an advancement upon imaginations but still not exactly what you are seeking. If closeness to a person brings you relief and calmness 
then that closeness has to end someday. If nothing else, then death will end that closeness. So even that would not really last. It won't suffice. Then go close to that which you are really seeking and that which is represented by the persons you are impressed with. You are not impressed by somebody's words. You are not impressed by bodies. You are not impressed by a man or a woman. Can anybody ever love a man or a woman? Only those who have never seen a dead body would think so. You may love a man, a person deeply. And when you are asked, whom do you love? You point at the person. What happens to the object you pointed to the day he dies? What do you do to the body? What do you do to the body? When you are asked, whom do you love? You pointed towards the body. And now the person is dead. What do you do with the body? You burn it. You don't want to keep it with you even for a few hours. And even if you keep it with yourself beyond a few hours, soon you will be forced to burn it. Or bury it. Just get rid of it. It is something beyond the body that you love. Had that not been there, you would have never been attracted to the body. And when that is not there, then you very quietly put the body aside. As if it is dust. Don't do that. Similarly, the teachers that you are attracted to our body is in one sense and something beyond body is in another sense the body is gross big visible overbearing because it appears so it fills up your senses you feel as if the body is what is attracting you because there is nothing else that you can see. But mind you, you seek the teacher, not the body of the teacher. When the teacher is gone, You will burn the body in two hours. Would you ever burn the teacher? Then why are you burning the body? That surely proves that that the body is not the teacher. If I ask you, Shilpi, would you ever burn your teacher? Would you? No. But still, one is going to find you consigning the body of the teacher to flames. Hmm? So the teacher is not quite the body. You love the teacher, so go close to the teacher. Figure out who that real teacher is. Gain closeness to him. If the physical teacher 
can help you gain closeness to the real teacher wonderful but let not the physical teacher become an impediment it is possible in certain cases that the physical teacher instead of becoming a help becomes rather a hindrance the body becomes so powerful for you that the teacher gets obfuscated those cases must be avoided you should not let that condition happen the physical teacher must be the bridge that brings you to the real teacher one does not build a house upon a bridge one crosses a bridge one uses a bridge one does not surrender to a bridge you cross the bridge and then there is the temple you do not surrender to the bridge you cross it cross the physical teacher use the physical teacher don't get attached to him if you get attached to him you are not only not proceeding yourself you have blocked the bridge for others as well get me your pattern is telling you something listen to what it is telling you Hmm? even as i am speaking to you it is being recorded hmm the recording is put on a cd would you start worshiping the cd would you if you won't worship the cd then why do you worship the man the man too is a cd it's just that the cd is man made and the cd that the teacher is is god made the teacher has nothing of himself just as the cd has nothing of itself the teacher too is saying something that is coming from a source beyond himself so why then do you get attached to the body of the teacher does one worship an audio system a television does one worship a laptop screen or oh, some idiots do that you are wise you won't do that hmm use the laptop screen keep it clean don't start dreaming of it you might break it that's the worst thing that can happen the same screen that could have brought the real world the real teacher to you was broken by you because you started using the screen as a substitute for the real thing don't do that you will lose both the screen and the real thing Yes. Inadequacy, demand for acceptance, loneliness. These are not the points. 
from where one can approach godhood if you are hungry you will search for food not for god if you are lonely you will search for company not for god if you feel poor you will hunt for money not for god if you perceive yourself to be in any material condition you will try to look for a material solution not god to reach god firstly begin as god if you begin as someone who is little afraid inadequate inferior how will you reach god begin as the total if you want to reach the total you are not small you don't need to be accepted by anybody the universe anyway accepts you even as i am speaking you can listen right see the universe accepts you sound waves are falling on your ears and making sense to you see the universe accepts you you can breathe you can talk you have lived the universe accepts you you don't need more company you are accepted totally all over and all around go and step on the earth any continent any country any place and see whether the earth rejects you go and breathe anywhere any season any place any continent see whether the air rejects you drink water from any of the oceans or any stream see whether they reject you pick up an animal and love it caress it any jungle any zoo any garden any street see whether it rejects you hmm? lack of acceptance and the quest for acceptance are all man's constructs really in existence there is no place for them we have been taught to accept and reject and therefore you strive that you too must be accepted and therefore you loathe being rejected there is an overarching acceptance in which both acceptance and rejectance rejection proceed if you have lost a game does that mean you have not played that game winning and losing are part of a duality proceeding within a great non dual game winners are at one end of the duality losers are at another end of the duality 
but the entire duality is within a non duality called a game even when you are being rejected you are still accepted had you not been accepted who was there to reject how do you have known that you have been rejected if you can know then you are accepted when the world feels like coming down too heavily upon you when you feel very rejected then ask yourself is my heart beating if your heart is still beating then you are still in when you are still an accepted one hmm? i know you could understand and if you could understand then you are accepted 